Capitol High School, Lindsay Kaiser, and April Scott. Our national anthem will be sung by Ritchie County High School students, Jessica Blevins and Kristen Blankenship. This is Metro News, the voice of West Virginia. The Independence High School Patriots 21 and 5 on the season from Cole City in Raleigh County. The Blue Eagles of Magnolia, they are 15 and 11 from Wetzel County, New Martinsville, West Virginia. It is time to meet the coaches, the players, and the support staff. For that, we go across the Civic Center floor to the voice of the Civic Center, Mr. Frank Blake. For the class AA championship game, let's welcome the Independence Patriots. And let's welcome the Magnolia Blue Eagles. Introducing the Independence head coach, Chad Perkins, to meet at center court with Magnolia head coach, Dave Tallman. For Independence, assistant coaches, Scotty Cuthbert and Rico Cox. For Magnolia, assistant coach, Mark Batten. The support staff for Independence, Natasha Sizemore. Ronnie Thompson, Rhonda Perdue, Mark Cuthbert, Scott Cuthbert, Mark Basham, Mike Green, Rusty Udy, Frankie Bowers, Alan Maynard, and Doug Basham. Support staff for Magnolia, Nathan Tallman, Daniel Tallman, Chris Tallman, and Nathan West. The Lions Club host for Independence is Art Burdett, and Lions Club host for Magnolia is Joe Gregg. And now let's meet the squads. For Independence, wearing number 23, Mike Evans. For Magnolia, number four, Matt Estep. For the Patriots, number 25, Jeremy Turner. For the Blue Eagles, number 12, Greg Preston. For Independence, 32 is Todd Shrewsbury. For Magnolia, number 20 is Aaron Long. For the Patriots, number 30, Chance Martin. For the Blue Eagles, number 21, Brent Ripley. For Independence, 33, Philip Martin. For Magnolia, 22, Josh Miller. For Independence, 22 is Eddie Vaught. For Magnolia, 32 is Justin Lowe. For the Patriots, number 20, Brian Cross. For the Blue Eagles, number 33, Jeremy Morgan. Now the starting lineups for Independence. A six-foot sophomore, number 44, John Obergine. For Magnolia, six-foot senior, number three, Richie Pefferman. 
for the Patriots, a six-foot senior, number 10, John McCool. For the Blue Eagles, a 6'3 junior, number 10, Eric Burke. From Independence, at six feet, a senior, number 11, Ronnie Olson. From Magnolia, 6'3 junior, number 5, Jason Baxter. For the Patriots, 6'3, a senior, number 55, Brad Williams. For the Blue Eagles, 6'2, a senior, number 11, Steve Imes. And for Independence, at 6'5, a senior, number 50, Josh Allen. For Magnolia, 6'3, senior, number 23, David Hallman. It's game time. The tip-off is next, right at and this is for all the gold in Class AA. Independence against Magnolia. Tip of the air controlled by the Patriots. Brad Williams into the front court. Sends the pass to John McCool. They travel right to left in this first half in the Civic Center Coliseum. Top of the circle, McCool. Right side pass goes to Josh Allen. Josh dumps it in to Brad Williams. Williams backing in against the defense. Kicks it right back to Allen. Right side to Aubergine. Back out on top. They'll run it to Ronnie Olson. Olsen on the dribble over the right side. Picks up the dribble. Leaves it there for Josh. Allen. Allen crossover. Kicks it left side. John McCool with a basketball for the Independence Patriots. Down through the lane. Kicks it right side. Brad Williams for three. Good. Brad Williams got the friendly roll. It's 2 0 Independence. 7 20 remaining. Quarter number one. And over the front court. The Blue Eagles. David Tallman. 6 3 senior. Left side pass. They get it to Baxter. Back out on top. They'll work it. And get it into the hands of Steve Imes. Corner. Jumper. No good. By Pepperman. Rebound cleared by Independence. Here come the Patriots into the front court. Josh Allen, crossover on the left side, continues to drive along the baseline. We go to score. Here is the first move on a 6-5 senior, Jeff Jenkins. And right now, he's drawing the attention of Ives. He beat Ives down the floor that time to the baseline. 6.50 remaining opening period. 4-0 Independence on top. Top of the circle. They work it to Steve Ives. Back it comes. Corner. Tallman. Jump it for three. No good. Rebound. Third inside by Baxter for Blue Eagles. We'll kick it back out to Richie Pepperman. Pepperman, the senior point guard, who until that point had taken all the three-point attempts for the Magnolia Blue Eagles in this tournament. Hallman decided to take his hand. He missed. This time, left side. Baxter dumps it inside to Burke. Eric's jumper off class won't go. Gets his own rebound. Loose in the lane. Fights for it. Kicks it back out the free throw line. Turns. Shoots. 12-footer. Off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound cleared. By Josh Allen of Independence. Patriots on the run. Leading 4-0. Into the front court. Left side. Ronnie Olson spots for three. Four and three. Ronnie Olson makes it 7-0. Patriots. And an immediate 22nd timeout. This will for by David Coleman. Picking up right where they left off, Fred, last night. And again, it's Josh Allen running the show. Big hoop, and that time leading the break, getting it over to Olsen, and uh, we know what he does. <laughs> he shoots it. Independence three of three from the floor so far this afternoon. So much for the tired legs. They're really getting up and down the floor in the first couple of minutes. I think these kids, 16, 17, 18-year-olds, they run out of Yeah, uh, it, it, was, it was you and I, we may have a problem there. Right. You and I would have been dead by now. <laughs> 6 7 remaining in our first period. A quick 7 nothing jump by the Independence Patriots. Here come the Blue Eagles into the front court. Richie Pepperman. He's the leader. Brings it over the right side. Leaves it there for Steve Ives. Ives jump pass in the lane to Baxter. Turn around. Check it. Half a block. Allen put out of the air by Allen. Allen takes it the other way. Had to retreat when the basketball was knocked loose. Picks it up. Gives it to John McCool. McCool across the timeline. Left side pass comes to Ronnie Olson. Again, the headbands are working for the Patriots. Olson jump it for three. He gets in his zone. He's tough to contain. It's 10 nothing. Independence. Five and a half minutes remaining in the opening period. Right side pass works to Magnolia. They get it over to David Tallman. Tallman, top of the circle to Pepperman. Pepperman standing there with it, brings it right side again to David Tallman. Tallman picked up by John McCool, top of the key. They work to Steve Imes. Imes just looking for some movement by his ball club. Very patient is Magnolia. Burt takes it to the right side. Top of the circle, they go to Pepperman, into the right side. They get it to Baxter. Down it comes again to Burt. Drive, shoots, misses, rebound cleared by Josh Allen. The Patriots. Looking for an even bigger lead. This time down the floor, they already lead 10-0. 
John McCool has it just to the left of the top of the circle. Bounce pass to the right side. He gives it up to Aubergine. Aubergine back out on top to McCool. Left side they go to Ronnie Olson. Already owns two three-pointers. Crossover through the lane. Kicks it down. Baseline left to Brad Williams. Makes the move. Kicks it back out on top to Aubergine. Right back to Williams. Pump fakes. Turns. Shoots. No good. Rebound. Tipped around. Controlled by Magnolia. Chasing it down to Steve Ives. He gives it up to Pepper. Ricky with it into the front court. Four and a half minute mark of quarter number one. It's 10 nothing. The Independence High School. Right side pass. Tallman. Entry pass. Comes into Baxter. Baxter pump fakes. Takes the shot. Good. I know you will stick with his offense. That's what's got them this far, Fred. Patient on offense. Getting good looks. They approach the four minute mark of quarter number one. It's an eight point lead. For the Independent Patriots, right side, John McCool, crossover dribble, drops, shoots, has his shot blocked, and a call to foul on Magnolia's Jason Baxter. And Baxter will pick up his first personal team foul, number one, foul of the act of shooting. Independent's John McCool, he'll go to the line and shoot two times. John McCool averages 10 points per game. The regular season had 11 in the quarters, nine in the semifinals. He has his first this afternoon, and it is an 11-2 lead for Independence. The Patriots ready again. Six-foot senior. Good. It is 12-2, that 10-point lead again for Independence. Inside four minutes left in quarter number one. Baxter with the basketball on the baseline left. Puts the off-balance shot up. Won't go. Rebound cleared inside by Baxter. Takes it up and scores. Jason Baxter has been the offense for Magnolia. It is 12-4. All four points coming from Jason. Right side. Aubergine works with it for Independence. Entry pass. They tried to get it to Williams. Knocked back into Aubergine's hands. His shot won't go. Allen has the rebound. Tries to take it up. He's going to be tied up. And it'll belong to Magnolia after this timeout. A break in the action from Charleston. Time for this message. You're listening to Metro News coverage of the 2000s. Eight championships. Back at court side at the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum, Jeff Jenkins alongside Fred Persinger. Jeff, if Chad Perkins wanted to start, he's got exactly what he wanted. Boy, 12 to 4, and Ronnie Olson, 2 of 2 from the floor. On the boards and very active offensively. Basketball in the hands of Magnolia right now. Jason Baxter, who has all four of the Blue Eagle points, kicks it to Pefferman. Back it comes top of the circle to Tallman. Back to Pefferman. Jump up a three off the mark. No good. He's uncleared by John McCool. Here come the Patriots down the left side of the floor. McCool in the lane as it knocked loose from behind. Two Eagles after the turnover. Give it to Baxter. Baxter takes it down the right side of the lane. Shot won't fall, but they'll go to the line. He was fouled by the Patriots. Call it on Josh Allen. That's Josh's first. Give Pepperman that time. Give Pepperman credit that time, Fred. And what happened is that he missed the shot. And then as he was chasing him down, and then he turned right around, chased him down floor, and came up behind the pool and knocked the ball away. Jason Baxter at the line makes the first of two free throws. He has all five of Magnolia's points. 14.6 points per game average. He's had a good tournament. Had 19 in the quarter, 17 in the semi. And he makes both free throws. 19 to 6. That good Steve Tallman knows he, no, he needs more scoring than just from Jason Baxter. John McCool will bring it across the timeline. Inside three minutes remaining, quarter number one. 12-6 you score. Patriots on top of the Blue Eagles. Ronnie Olson works with it. Dump pass comes in to Josh Allen. He was going out of bounds with it. It'll belong to Magnolia. That time, they forced something they didn't have, Jeff. Tried to get it to Allen that time, and again, his foot was on the line. And now Magnolia, not panicking, Fred, down early. And now they can cut it to four or three if they get a three. The left side pass goes to Steve Ives for the Blue Eagles, directing some traffic. We'll kick it back out on top and leave it there for David Tallman. David Tallman is the son. Dave Tallman is the coach. So they have different initials. He is not a junior or a second. 2.20 remaining in our first period of play. 12-6 to score. Tallman again with the basketball for the Magnolia Blue Eagles. Left side pass. They get it over. Outside jumper is off the mark by Himes and the rebound cleared by Independence. John McCool pulls it down. Down the right side of the floor. Gives it up. Driving. Aubergine scores. The sophomore got loose along the baseline. Scores his first two. It's 14 to 6. The eight-point lead for the Patriots. They've led by as many as 10 on two different occasions. 
for the basketball. Baxter at the free throw line. Jason pulls up the 13 footer. Won't go off the front of the iron. And the rebound cleared by Patriots. Josh Allen. Allen into the front court with it. Right side pass goes to Olsen for three. Off the mark. Rebound. Brad Williams tried to take it up. Had it slapped loose. Threw it out of there by Steve Imes of Magnolia. He'll bring it into the front court. Puts the pass. Left side. David Tallman. Tallman through the lane. 12 footer. Puts it up. Has the clock from behind. And on the rebound. Whistle on the foul on Aubergine of Independence. John Aubergine will pick up his first. That's the team's second. Foul in the act of shooting. Jason Baxter. Baxter will be at the line. He has all six of Magnolia's points. Two field goals, two of two from the line. The right-hander is ready with a minute 28 left in the first period. Reaches good. Well, he's been all of the offense so far this afternoon. And Dave Tallman knows he needs a lot more than just Jason. Jason's good, but he's going to have to have some help from at least Eric Burks, who's the leading scorer. Second free throw is up and in. And it is 14 to 8. Independence by 6. A little pressure now on the backcourt by the Blue Eagles. And stay on his field all the way. Burke takes it away. Gives it up to Pepperman in the front court. Richie Pepperman, yo-yoing the basketball left side, kicks it on the wing to Steve Ives. A minute 10, remaining quarter number one. It's a 14-8 lead for the Patriots. Baxter gets loose in the lane and scores again. Josh, Josh Allen took a chance that time to try to knock the ball away, but Baxter caught it and turned around and put it up and in. He has all 10 of Magnolia's points. McCool across the timeline. Gets the pass to Brad Williams. Bounce pass corner. Aubergine puts the floater up. Won't go. And the rebound cleared by Magnolia. David Tallman pulls it down. Here come the Blue Eagles looking to get a little closer. They trail by four with 40 seconds left in quarter number one. Tallman with the top of the key. Works it on the dribble over on the left side. Picks up the dribble out. Comes back out on top. Leaves it there for Pepperman. Basketball loose on the floor. And then away by Magnolia. Good defense that time by Ronnie Olsen and Josh Allen. Absolutely. Olsen came out on that loose ball and he disrupted Pepperman as he tried to throw it and Josh Allen was in the passing lane and Pepperman threw it out of bounds. 30 seconds remaining in quarter number one. It's a 14-10 lead for the Patriots. Some pressure in the backboard as Independence breaks it with a pass across the timeline to McCool. Up the floor they get it to Josh Allen. Corner jumper. Olsen for three. No good. Rebound cleared by Magnolia. Here they come again. Magnolia into the front court with 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. Pepperman top of the key. Fires for three. Good. Ricky Pepperman makes it 14 to 13. Independence Brad Williams throws it to the, to the floor of the buzzer, but it will not call. The Blue Eagles of Magnolia in that first period on a 7 0 run to get back to within one. We start quarter number two. Independence with the basketball leading by one. 14 13. Josh Allen with it on the right side. Takes it down to the right wing, gives it to Olsen. Olsen inside to Williams, makes the strong move. Has a shot to pick it from behind, but then on the rebound, we got a foul, and it'll be called on Eric Burke of Magnolia. Let's go back, Fred, to that uh, final possession for Independence in the half. I'm sure Coach Chad Perkins would have liked his team to hold to the last shot. Ronnie Olsen shot up from the corner with about 11 seconds left. They gave Magnolia time to come down, and Pepperman hit a three. And bounds, a pass going away by Jason Baxter. Baxter whips it cross court to Tolman. Has a shot from behind by Williams. Pulled out of the air by Olsen. Olsen, right side pass to Aubergine. Drives, shoots, misses, rebound cleared by Magnolia. Outlet pass up the floor. Going to be chased down by Baxter. Jason's going to take it in. Missed the shot. Rebound tipped up and in by David Tolman. Lead change number one. 17 remaining quarter number two magnolia leads by a point 15 14 7 10 remaining in the first half of action josh allen top of the circuit pulls up 18 foot no good rebound cleared by allen allen takes it back up dumps it low inside tried to get it to aubergine instead williams came out of the with it he tried to send the basketball inside loses it out of and along to magnolia Go ahead and put it on, Fred. That might be a keepsake <laughs> right there. We just had that white headband tossed at us by Brad Williams. They win the state championship for winning the side. 6.48 remaining in quarter. Number two. It's a 15-14 lead for the Blue Eagles. 
Boy, they are very patient, and they did not get shook when they got down 10-0. They stayed with the game plan, and now they lead by one. Eric Burke's jumper won't fall. Well, we got a whistle and the foul. It's going to be called on the rebound against Magnolia. Burke has been uh, kind of quiet, Fred, here so far today. Missed a couple of shots early. He's been a key for them in their two wins in Charleston. Steve Imes picks up his first personal foul. Team foul number three. And it'll belong to Independence. Cross court. Pass comes to Eddie Vaught, who's in there. Driving baseline. Olsen underneath. Score. He's got eight. And it is 15 for 16-15. Lead change number two. The Patriots back on top by one. Right side pass. They get it to Baxter. Back out on top to... They get it over to Pat. Baxter again. Peppermint's for the jumper. Won't go. Inside Burke. Takes it up. Blocked away from behind. Basketball loose. Chased down by Baxter. Jason kicks it over the left side to Peppermint. They go down low inside. They get it in to Imes. Had his shot blocked away. Coming out of there with it. Over the Patriots of Independence. John McCool up the floor. They find Ronnie Olsen. Olsen tries to drive the baseline. Cut off. Sends it back out on top. Loose basketball chased down by Eddie Vaught. Vaught goes right side to McCool. McCool looks to give it up to Josh Allen. 5.43 remaining in quarter number two. It's a 16-15 lead for the Patriots of Independence. Eddie Vaught back it comes to Allen. Allen through the lane. Right side pass. Williams for two. Good. Good throw to Josh Allen that time. He controlled things in the middle. Fred dumped it off to Vaught. Got it back. Drove the lane and dumped it off to Williams. He's a very, very good playmaker. Big guy who can handle the ball. 5-20 remaining in quarter number two. It's a three-point lead for Independence High School. 18-15. Top of the circle. Hefferman works with it for Magnolia. Gets it to Jason Baxter. Baseline right side. Baxter picks up on the dribble. Gets it back to Richie Pepperman. Right wing. Top of the circle. There go. David Tallman shoots for three. Good. That's the coach's young star. He's got five points in the game. And that's our first tie of the ball game. Tied at 18. With 4.59 remaining in quarter number two. Right side of the floor. Driving with it. Eddie Vaught. Jumper is too long. He's on by Tallman. Magnolia's Blue Eagles on the attack into the front court. Right side, Palmer picks up on the dribble. Goes left wing to Richie Pepperman. Pepperman picks it back out on top to Steve Imes. Imes to Tallman on the right wing. He spots the three again. Off the mark this time. Rebound. Lost out of bounds. Last touching. Steve Imes of Magnolia to belong to Independence. Uh, we haven't really seen last couple of times down Magnolia's been maybe a little more impatient than Coach Dave Tallman would want. Yeah, it's not the same team we've seen all this week. We're tied at 18, with four and a half minutes remaining in our first half of action. Josh Allen with the basketball, picks it up, and gives it to Brad Williams, still in the backcourt, jump pass across the line to McCool. John McCool spots the three, won't go, rebound, belongs to Magnolia, pulling it down, Steve Imes, he gives it up, the floor to Tallman, Tallman to Burke, Burke shoots, scores. the right, the guys are kind of high on the rim, and that's the first point to the contest for Eric Burke, the leading scorer, for Magnolia. So third lead change in the ball game. Josh Allen in low. Oh, nice play. That's all right. He's got four. Looks like he was going away from the basket and got the two points off glass. Tied for the second time. This time at 20. 350 remaining first half. Tallman. Offensive foul. David Tallman will pick up his first personal foul. That gives us a break of the action. Exclusive Metro News coverage of the 2000 State Championship Tournament being brought to you in part by Tom Peter. As the new day dawns a bit, people This is the 2000 State Championship. Back inside the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum. Basketball game is seen two times. We're tied right now at 20. Three lead changes. Independence ripped off the first 10 points of the game. Magnolia would come right back to end the first period on a 7 0 run. And then they would score the first two points. In quarter number two, they had a 9 0 run as well. So two different runs. And this basketball game won by each ball club. Tied at 20 with 340. Left first half. Independence with the ball. Up the floor it comes to John McCool. McCool on the left side. Kicks it top of the circle to Josh Allen. Allen directing traffic. Backs back out on the dribble. Yelling out instructions. They come left side to McCool. Down on the corner near side. They have Brian Cross. Back to Allen for three. Rims in and out. No good. And the rebound cleared by Steve Imes inside for Magnolia. Magnolia looking for the lead. This time up the floor. They get it to Baxter. For a great pass from the near side by Baxter from the times rather into the hands of Baxter. He's got 12 points. 22-20. Two-point lead for the Blue Eagles across the timeline. Comes Independence down on the corner. Right side to cross. Back out there. Work it to Josh Allen. Went off the hands of Aubergine right into the hands of Josh Allen. Very fortunate that time for Independence. 
And that time Magnolia off the make break showed a little pressure to Independence. And when that happens, Williams handles the ball inside. To Ronnie Olson back in the Independence lineup, he'll replace Brian Cross. John Aubergine with it on the right wing. Kicks it back on top to Allen. 2.52 remaining, first half. 22-20 your score. Magnolia on top of Independence High School. Josh Allen, top of the circle. Crossover through the lane. Off the pass. Won't go, but he's going to be fouled. Nice play by the 6'5 kid. Nice one-on-one -on -one moves, taking Imes to the hoop that time. He's so lanky, Fred. He goes back and forth with the crossover dribble. Before you know it, he does a little spin move. He gets by you. That time, used his left hand up in the lane. Just could not get it to crawl in for him, although he had it up on the rim. Steve Imes picks up his second personal foul. Team foul number five. Josh Allen with the line. This is the first of two. Allen had 11 points in the quarterfinal round win over Braxton County. Had 20 last night. And a beautiful, beautiful performance against Tug Valley. Second one is no good. We had a lane violation the first time. But Josh Allen is 0 of 2. So maybe other opportunity to just repeat it. And missed all three. Oh, that you don't see too often. Rebound cleared by Magnolia to the front court. The Blue Eagles, Richie Pepperman to Jason Baxter. Baxter gets it over the right side to David Tallman. Tallman looks. He's got Pepperman out on top. Instead, keeps control of the dribble. Takes it down the right side of the lane. Dumps it low on the right side to Burke. Back out it comes to Steve Ives. Now to the left of the top of the circle to Baxter. Back on the right side to Tallman. Left side again. They go to Richie Pepperman. Back out on top to Burke. Maybe scoring the ball club. Eric Burke has only two points so far this afternoon. 2.14 remaining in our first half. 22-20 your score. And Magnolia on top of Independence. Jason Baxter, bounce pass, far side. They get it to Imes. Pumps up the 17-footer. In and out, no good. Rebound, get down. By Independence is Brad Williams. He gives it up to McCool. And McCool will bring it across the timeline. Gets it up ahead to Josh Allen. Allen on the right side. Calls the closed fist set with a minute 50. Left in quarter number two. Allen now with the left wing. Takes it to the whole offensive foul. Good call as Allen put the arm out and just kind of pushed off as he made his way to the basket. And that's the second personal foul on Josh Allen. Dave Tomlin, David Tomlin does the little things, and he did that time. Stayed in there and took the charge. Chad Perkins standing on the far side looked at Josh Allen and said, hey, you got two, play smart. Because he doesn't want to take him out with a minute 40 left because he needs him in there. But he doesn't want him to pick up that third personal either. Approaching the 92nd mark of quarter number two. It's a two-point lead for Magnolia. Blue Eagles have the basketball. David Tallman looks with her on the right side pass. Gives it up to Jason Baxter. Now they go back out on top. Leave it down for Steve Ives. Very patient. They get the passes. Then they get the look they want. Sometimes a wide open three. Sometimes a nice cut to the lane. This time they get it to Ives, who almost lost it at the free throw line. Kicks it baseline right to Baxter. Stakes straight up from 16. No good. And the rebound clear by Josh Allen of Independence with 60 seconds left in the quarter. Patriots trail by two. They get it baseline right for McCool's jump and score. John McCool's first field goal. We're tied at 22. That's the third tie of the ball game. 50 seconds left in the half. Across the timeline, working with it, Richie Pepperman, six-foot senior guard for Magnolia. The right side pass comes to Tallman. Back out on top to Steve Imes. Right side again, Burke takes the pass. 40 seconds and counting. Independence has gone to a 2-3 zone, mainly here to try to protect Josh Allen from getting his third. That, and I think, you know, again, they would not mind going in at halftime, giving Magnolia the last shot. This is anybody's ball game, but we knew it was going to be a good one. Two quality teams, evenly matched ball clubs, playing for this double A state championship. David Tallman now just stands with it near the midfield strike. He'll wait till about the 10 second mark. Looks at his dad. His dad says go. 10 seconds remaining in quarter number two. Tied at 22. Right side pass to Imes. Back out on top. Tallman. Four seconds. Three. Tallman. Off balance shot. Won't go. Tipped up. One time a call. No good. And we get the rebound at the buzzer. Good half of action in this past double A championship game. At halftime at the Civic Center Coliseum in Charleston with your score, Independence 22, Magnolia 22. Class double-A championship at stake. We're tied at 22. We had three ties in the first half. A total of three lead changes. Magnolia basketball to start. Looking forward to it. Yeah, let's remember now, Independence jumped off to a 10-0 lead. So actually, Magnolia outscored them as 
we completed that half 22 to 12. Ready to go. Magnolia with the basketball. Right side. They get it to Tallman. Back it on top. Richie Pepperman in the jump circle. They get it over the far side to Baxter. Now to Tallman. Jump up for three. Won't go. Rebound. Foot down inside. Eric Burke made his presence known on that offensive board. And it is 24-22. The lead belongs to Magnolia. John McCool bringing it across the timer. We'll work it into the front court. Going to be picked up by Pepperman over the left side. He'll take the pass. Give it up to Josh Allen. Allen dumps the pass inside to Brad Williams. Williams backing in. Makes the good strong move with hole. Shot won't go. We've done loose the lane and picked down there by Jason Baxter for Magnolia. Magnolia looking for a four-point lead. This time down the floor. Maybe a five with a three. We'll work it left side to Ives. Corner near side. Burks jumping off the mark. Rebound. Top of the board and comes back down into the hands of John Obergine. The sophomore brings it into the front court for Independence. Stops on the right wing. Picks up the dribble. Looks for some help. They try and get it in to Josh Allen. We got a holding call on Steve Imes, and that's going to be number three on Steve. And boy, that could be crucial because we know Magnolia doesn't like to go to its bench. It has not gone to the bench today, and it was Josh Allen posting up down inside. Allen will be the inbounder. He'll bring it in to John McCool, and then knocked out of bounds. Last touching Magnolia. 6:58 remaining. Quarter number three. It's a two-point lead for the Blue Eagles. Working with it inbounds, wide open is Brad Williams, and he scores for a nice entry pass from Josh Allen to Brad Williams, tied at 24. That's the fourth tie of the ball game. Across the timeline, Hines will leave it into the front court for Richie Pepperman. Pepperman on the right side, gets it to David Tallman, back out on top to Pepperman. Richie, left side, works it to Steve Hines. Looking at a zone right now from Independence. They'll jump out and put hands in the area of the ball. Outside jumper, no good by David Tallman. Rebound clear by Independence into the front court. John McCool leaves it in the corner. Left side for Ronnie Olson. Olson drives, puts the off-balance shot up and in. Ronnie Olson has 10 points. 26-24. He, he plays with uh, no conscience <laughs> offensively, but most of the time his shots go in. I think Independence trying to rest some a little bit, Fred, on defense, trying to settle back in the zone in the last two times. Magnolia has rushed shot a little bit last time. Tallman, Tallman a little bit out of his range on that three. Six-minute mark at quarter number three. It's a two-point lead for the visitors. The Patriots of Independence. Outside jumper. No good by Pepperman. Rebound cleared by Independence is Josh Allen. Josh quickly into the front court. Puts it right side to John Aubergine. Aubergine going in against the defense. Makes the good move. Spin move. Shot wouldn't fall. And the rebound cleared by Burke of Magnolia. Eric on the alley pass. Gets it up the floor to David Tallman. Tallman. Works it out to Pepperman. Back it comes to David Tolman. Standing left side, holding it high over his head, moves it back out on top. Gets it to Pepperman. On the right side they go to Steve I. And David Tolman wants a 20-second timeout. Just wants to make sure. I think he sees his kids standing around a little bit. And with that ball movement, that's not something that Magnolia can do. And he's going to draw up something for the zone because most of the time Magnolia runs that very good motion offense against the man-to-man -man defense. And now he's going to make some adjustments here to get him moving side against the zone. And no question, Magnolia would love to win another state championship. Again, they won it all back in 1961. They defeated Milton 60 to 51 in the title game. In 63, they lost to Oceana. In 64, they lost to the Williamson Wolf Pack. And then in 1973, they lost to Gary. They scored 68 to 50. Magnolia with a basketball. Front foot. Right side pass. They get it to Pepperman. Right back it comes to Tallman. 519 remaining. Turnaround jumper is off the mark by Baxter. Rebound chased down and knocked out of bounds. Nice touching Magnolia. Nice play that time by John McCool. Knocked it off the hand of Richie Pepperman. And now Magnolia into a press. Try to speed things up a little bit. And Josh Allen gets it back to Brad Williams. Williams back to Josh Allen. He'll take it back to Brad Williams. He'll bring it into the front court. Pass up the floor. McCool thought about the three. Instead drives to the corner. Kicks it back to Olsen. He kicks the three. Ronnie Olsen doesn't take too long about the three. He just fires it. That's right. He's got 13 points in the game, and it's a five-point lead for Independence. They've scored seven unanswered points. 4.45 remaining in quarter number three. Top of the circle. Pepper, left side to Tom. Tallman works there with it, goes cross court, skip pass across the zone to Imes. They'll get it in, top of the circle to Baxter. Back it comes to Imes, left side to Tallman. Tallman goes low inside to Burke, turns, shoots, and scores. Eric Burke becoming more of a factor in the ballgame in this third period. 29-26, it's a three-point lead for Independence with 4.23 remaining in the third quarter. 
Working with it, McCool gives it back to Brad Williams. Brad into the front court. Left side pass. Olsen for three again. Good again. He's way outside the three-point arc. 32 26. He's got four three pointers and 16 points in the game. Chad Perkins says when he gets in his zone, he's tough to stop. Left side, they'll work the ball to Pepperman. Four minute mark of quarter number three. Burke inside again. Has his shot blocked by Brad Williams, but Brad will be whistled for the foul, and Eric Burke will be at the free throw line to shoot two times. Brad Williams' first personal foul. Eric Burke goes to the line. He's showing with six points this afternoon. That's about 10 under his average. First opportunity from the line. Right hander up, good. 32 27. 356 remaining. Work ready again. No good this time. Rebound tipped around. Controlled by Baxter of Magnolia. Takes it up and scores. Jason Baxter now with 14. 32 29. And that becomes a three point play for Magnolia. 345 remaining in our third quarter of action. Independence leads by three. John McCool has it into the front court. He'll walk it over on the right side. The yelling out instructions gets Josh Allen loose from low along the baseline. He's being closely guarded by Tallman. Had to put David Tallman on him because we got a three foul situation on Steve Ives. We got a break in the action. This Metro News Sports Broadcast. Out of the air by Magnolia. Into the front court. They come quickly. David Tallman works with it left wing. Top of the circle to Pepperman. Back it comes to David Tallman. Three minute mark. They're approaching that. Baxter's jumper in and out. No good. Rebound cleared by Mike Evans of Independence. Almost lost it out of bounds. Kicks it back into the hands of Josh Allen. Allen pulls up 14 for the right side. Won't go. Rebound to Steve Himes inside for Magnolia. 252 remaining. Quarter number three. Out of pass and all the way up the floor to Jason Baxter. Baxter kicks it back to Burke. Burke had his pocket pick by Josh Allen. Nice move by the 6'5 senior. Up the floor he comes. Down the corner. Losing it out of bounds. That's a little off the mark that time by Josh. And Ronnie Olson couldn't control it from going out of bounds. Not too many times that Josh Allen doesn't convert or doesn't throw good passes. Well, he's played well, hasn't he? Wow. 32-29. The lead is three for Independence. Left side. Way outside. Hefferman for three. It's short. Rebound. Burke takes. Shoots. Score. Ronnie Burke. Seven in the quarter. Nine in the game. 32-31. Back to within one. Comes Magnolia. Independence, John McCool into the front court. Stops right side. Pass in the corner. They get it on the right side to Josh Allen. Allen on the dribble makes it back to the, the right wing. Into pass goes into Brad Williams. Brad fakes. Turnaround jumper is good. Brad Williams from five points. Seems like when Independence needs a big hoop, Williams is able to get it for him. Good point. And he always comes up with a big rebound. Now we got a reach in foul called on John Aubergine. That'll be his second. Personal foul on John Obergine. His second team foul in the second half on Independence. Magnolia's committed one. Left side pass. Himes back out on top. They go to David Tall. Right side again to Pepperman. Pepperman tries the entry pass. Low along the baseline to Burke. And the Burke had it out of knocked out of bounds. Last touching Mike Evans of Independence. A minute 39 left in our third period. It is 34-31. Independence leads by three. Entry pass. Comes to Pepperman. Left wing. Top of the circle to Imes. And it goes in the corner. They work it back from Tallman to Pepperman. Tallman picks up the dribble. Bounce pass. Comes left side to Tallman. In the lane. Turn around jumper. Burt. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Magnolia. And kicks it back out on top. They'll work it to Tallman. The right side. They go to Imes. In the lane to Burt. Strong move. Traveling there. And they've made a good adjustment against that zone. They get the ball inside the book. I know he's just having a tough time that time putting it in. A minute 10 remaining in quarter. Number three, the LOA, John McCool, tried the alley oop shot inside by himself. As he tried to double pump it, it just wouldn't fall. And the rebound cleared by Magnolia. Basketball loose and controlled by the Blue Eagles. Nice move by David Tallman to save it from going out of bounds. 
They'll get it to Richie Pepperman, top of the circle. Right side pass again to Tolman. Tolman tries to dribble away from Overgene, brings it over the left side, gives it to Ines. Ines kicks it out. He's hit the big three-pointer in each of the three games Magnolia's played, coming right at the right time. Fifth tie of the ball game. We're tied at 34 with 34 seconds left, third period. John McCool has it for the Independence High School Patriots. He'll leave it near the midcourt strike for Josh Allen. 25 seconds. Chad Perkins wants the last shot of quarter number three. Allen works with it one-on-one -on -one against David Tallman. Tallman had to be switched to Josh Allen after Steve Imes picked up his third personal foul. He approached the 10-minute mark of quarter number three. Tied at 34. Allen working with the basketball. You know he'll take the last shot or look for the wide open pass. He gets it to McCool. Three seconds, two. McCool loses it. Puts it up at the buzzer. Won't go. But just like we ended halftime, we'll end the third period the same way. Follow the entire West Virginia State High School. Metro News 2000. The voice of West Virginia. Well, we played 24 minutes, no closer to deciding our class AA state champion. Final eight minutes underway. Here at the Charleston Civic Center Coliseum, Fred Persinger alongside Jeff Jenkins. Independence had the basketball, but the Aaron pass to Monty Olsen stolen away by Baxter. Up the floor, they get it. Jumper, Pepperman, left side, no good. Rebound cleared by Brad Williams. Shooting woes continue for Magnolia, just shooting 28.6% for the game. John Aubergine with it on the left wing for the Patriots. Dribbles by Burke, takes the win, and he's stripped from behind for the call to foul. Burke, Burke. They'll pick, no, they'll call this one on Steve Imes. That's number four. Eric Burke was in the area. They called it on Steve Imes. He was there as well. That's his fourth. The line to the right will be John Aubergine. First opportunity from the line, the sophomore. Has two points this afternoon. Right hand to ready. Good. He was 6 of 8 last night down the stretch in that big win over Tug Ballard. And a substitution into the lineup first time this afternoon for Magnolia. Matt Eastep checks in for Steve Imes, who leaves with four personal fouls. Independence Overgene ready again. Makes them both. 36-34. The lead is two for Independence. Magnolia's Richie Pepperman will bring it into the front court. Walks it across the timeline on the right side. Gives it up to David Tallman. Tallman near the midcourt strike. Picked up there by John McCool. Sends the pass on the right wing to Jason Baxter. Baxter back out on top. Leaves it for Eric Burke. Down on the corner right side. Pepperman spots the three. Three three-pointer by Richie Pepperman. 37-36. Lee Jeans, number five. Magnolia with the one-point lead. 6.54 remaining in the contest. McCool, right side, gives the pass over to Aubergine. Aubergine drives through the lane, puts the shot up to the left hand. Boy, Tom Moore coming to play this quarter, Jeff. Well, I like him, Fred. I really like him, especially when games come down the stretch. He played a big role in the upset of Tug Valley yesterday and hit a big one there. The lead change number six, 38-37. With six and a half minutes remaining in the game, Independence leads by one. Working with it on the left side. Driving, and Matt Eastep, and we got a whistle, and... Foul is going to be called on the Patriots. It'll be called on Brad Williams. That'll be number two on Brown. Oh, now they give it to John Overton. This is good. Magnolia basketball. Richie Pepperman with it. Between the range, works it left side, gives it to David Tallman. Tallman down on the corner to Baxter. Baxter tries to drive the baseline, cut off by Williams. He'll kick it back on the left side to Eric Burke. Burke near the midfoot strike, leaves it for David Tallman. Right side, they go to Matty Step. Six-minute mark of the ball game. 38-37. Independence on top by a point. Jumper won't go inside. We've got clear, then we've got five. Jason Baxter had it, came down with it, and traveled. And the Patriots, leading by one, will have the basketball. OBG fighting in there, even with the three personals, he helped cause that traveling. John Obergy through the lane, shot will not go, but on the drive, he's going to be fouled. Not a shooting situation. Foul will be called on Eric Burke, his second. It's only the third team foul. Three team fouls on both ball clubs. Matt Perkins wants to talk it over. This 
is the 2000 state championship. 38-37, your score. Independence leads by a point with 5.48 remaining in the ball game. Independence basketball. After the call, timeout by Chad Perkins. Just to get everything reset on the inbounds. They got it to McCool, but the shot was blocked from behind by Magnolia. Good defense to play. Now we got a blocking foul called on John McCool. That will be his first. Team foul number four. Yeah, they designed a good play for the out-of-bounds. Coach Perkins did, and it... Good defensive play by Magnolia on the block. That's exactly right. Good offensive play, just a better defensive play by Magnolia. Blue Eagles look to take the lead. This time down the floor. Pepperman gets it right side to David Tallman. Puts it in low to Eastep. Jumper good. Now Eastep off the bench. Gives his team the lead. 39-38. Seventh lead change of the ball game. 525 remaining in the contest. John McCool works with it into the front court. Right side pass. Josh Allen. We got a holding foul on number five. That could be Jason Baxter. Jason just kind of turned and looked at the official. What did I do? Holding? And I'll tell you what, when you've got somebody like Brad Williams inside on you that likes to pump fake and move around on that low block, you almost sometimes figure you got to hold just to stay even. And the cool with it. Baxter back out near the midcourt strike. Fourth team foul against Magnolia. Each team has four. Into the lane they go. They get it to Williams. Williams holding it high over his head. Jump pass low inside to Josh Allen. Almost lost it. Saves it. Gets it up ahead. Back out on the left wing. They go to Aubergine. Right side. Brad Williams, 16-footer. Off the mark. No good. Rebound cleared by Matt Eastep of Magnolia. Down the right side of the floor. The pass comes to Richie Pepperman. Pepperman to Burke. Burke drives. Shoots. Misses. Rebound. Tipped up and on by Matt Eastep. Is this the story of all game? Coming off the bench. As a not very often used substitute, he scored the last four points. His team leads by three, 41-38. Four and a half minutes remaining in the game. A lot of time. John McCool puts it right side to Brad Williams. Williams, look. Again, we've got a timeout. This time, four and a half minutes remaining in this ball game. A lot of time left. With Magnolia leading by three, 41-38. John Allen corner. Left side, works it, gives it up down in the corner to find John Aubergine back out on top to Ronnie Olsen. Olsen has been quiet for the last few minutes. He has 16 points in the game. He's almost stolen away, and it is stolen away. Up the floor, Pepperman shoots the floor. 43, 38. That is six unanswered points. By Magnolia. Independence with it into the front court. Left side, John Aubergine. Then we got a foul going over the back. And David Tallman, that is his second. He's David upset. Tallman. They, yeah, he they is. They called the foul, but they're, they're going to call that. <laughs> when you go over the back and you, you come down with your hand. I think about 100% of the time they're going to call it. And uh, the young man plays with such intensity, probably just upset at himself. This time, they tried to force the pass down inside from Josh Allen to Brad Williams, knocked out of bounds by the good hustling defense of Magnolia. 3.54 remaining in the game. 43, 38. It's a five-point lead for the Blue Eagles. In the corner, left side. Ronnie Olsen works with it for Independence High. Take it right side to give it up. And so that was Aubergine. This is Olsen. Olsen drives down through the lane. The shot short. And on the rebound, we got a foul call on Olsen. Olsen will pick up his first personal foul. That is the 16 foul, now a shooting situation. They belong to Magnolia. And Magnolia's defense has picked up Fred ever since they came on this spurt offensively. East have given him a big lift off the bench. Scoring the points. Hines remains on the bench. Pepperman will bring it across the timeline. Three and a half minutes remaining in the game. His team on top by five. 43-38. Tom working one-on-one -on -one against John McCool. Tries by McCool. Takes the shot. Won't go. Rebound cleared by John Aubergine of Independence. Aubergine will bring it across the timeline. Into the front court. Sends the pass up ahead to Josh Allen. Baseline right. He kicks it back to Olsen. Olsen's jumper for three. Off the rim. Gets his own rebound. Takes it through the lane. Lost control of the dribble. Saves it from going out of bounds. Put right over the hands of Pepperman. Allen pass up the floor to Burke. Burke drives. Shoots. Misses. Tip up the line. 45, 38. That is eight. One inch of points by Magnolia. On the current eight-nothing run, Chad Perkins just wants to cool him off a little bit that last time out, Jeff. And he got 
Josh Allen controlling things out front. Now, he had been posting up. He's going to run things. Brad Williams takes the pass from Allen, takes the turnaround jumper, won't go. Fights and the rebound. You got him going over the back. Tough time for me. Tough time for Independence to go cold right now. And Magnolia has won up. 344 remaining in the game. 45 38. Basketball in the hands of the Blue Eagles. They'll bring it across the timeline. Richie Peppermint into the front court. Works one on one against Olsen. And a whistle on each and foul on Ronnie Olsen. I know you can afford to be patient here. We seem to be patient several times during this tournament. And they're going to take some time off the clock now. They're in the one on one. Team foul number seven against Independence. This will put Richie Peppermint at the line. 11 points in the ball game. First opportunity from the charity stripe. Stands in on one plus the bonus. First one's up. Good. 46-38. That's a 9-0 run. Now Magnolia. Next free throw. No good. Rebound. Loose in the lane. Picked up by Brad Williams. He'll leave it to Josh Allen. 46-38. The lead is eight. With 225 remaining in the ball game. Independence trails, they have the basketball. Josh Allen kicks it in the corner, right side to Olsen. Olsen brings it back on the right wing, gets the screen from Williams, takes the jump up the third goal. Well, Johnny Olsen can get hot, they'll be right back in. 46-41, but back to within five. Olsen has 19. 205 remaining in the contest. Peppermint works with it near the mid-court strike. Olsen, Olsen, five seconds, throw starting, you turn it over. Johnny Olsen credited with the good defense on Peppermint. You get that count to stop if you're dribbling by picking up the ball. And if you're just standing there with it, you get the count to stop and start again by dribbling it. That time, Peppermint continued just to dribble. Five seconds close starting. A minute 55 remaining in the contest. 46, 41. Josh Allen, top of the circle in the cool. Drive. As he's stopped, rejected by Burke, but he'll go to the line. The foul is going to be called on Magnolia. Eric Burke will pick up his third. McCool at the line. He'll have two shots. He's two of two this afternoon. Has four points. Six foot senior. And ready with the first at the line to the right. His team trails by five. Right hander. Makes it a four-point lead, 46-42. And the Coles had, had a nice, solid tournament, too, Fred, just uh, studying his team. He knows his role in this team. Ready again. Good again. He has a great last name for what he is at the free throw line, and that is Poole. At the floor, traveling ball, and three Great defense by John Overton, the sophomore. 46 43. The lead is three for Magnolia. That's one shot for Ronnie Wilson. Just don't worry about the three. Go ahead, run the offense, get two, and everybody get back and play good defense. Got any idea who might take the three? Brad Williams with it into the front court. They'll leave it for Josh Allen. Out on top with a minute 40 left in the game. 46 43. The lead belongs to Magnolia. Patriots with the basketball. Right side pass. Ronnie Olsen has it. He can't get the three away. Kicks it to Brad Williams. Williams again will reset it. He'll take it to the right side of the lane. Kick it this time to McCool. He spots the three. No good. Rebound. Olsen inside. Shoots. No good. Rebound. Williams picks it up. Won't go, but he's fouled. The ball had three good looks at it that time, Jeff. And they crashed the boards, and that was the key. Olsen didn't take the three, but he got on the boards. He kept it alive, and Williams kept it alive. And now remember yesterday, Williams hit that key foul shot to beat Tug Valley. And now he goes back to the line. Very important shots here. His team trails by three. Brad Williams' first opportunity from the line. Senior, good. 46-44. The lead reduced to two. Brad Williams trying to make it one. Right-hander does. 46-45. A minute 17 left in the ball game. We're going down to the wire. You gotta love it. Right side pass. Tallman takes it off the glass. No good. Rebound. Put down inside. Baxter takes it up. Shot won't go, but he's gonna be fouled. And Jason Baxter will go to the free throw line for this afternoon. He is four of four.
Coleman was just dribbling down the far sideline right in front of the Magnolia bench. Things open for him. And he had a clear lane to the basket. He just left it very high on the board. Shot it right over the rim. Baxter at the line. 16 points in the game. Youngster ready. Good. Bounced around a couple of times, but fell through for him. Last foul was called on Josh Allen. He has three. 47-45. It's a two-point lead for Magnolia. Jason Baxter makes it three. He's six of six from the line. 48-45. The three-point lead belongs to Magnolia. We have one minute left in this one. Across the timeline, Josh Allen brings it. Left side pass to John McCool. Cutting underneath is Aubergine. McCool picks up the 17-footer. Rims in and out. No good. Rebound lost out of bounds. Last touching independence. Now off the fingertips of John Aubergine. 50 seconds left in the contest. It's a three-point lead for the Blue Eagles of Magnolia, a team that ended their season 10 and 11. Can they win the AA state championship? Working with it on the right side, Tolman is going to get a timeout. This is a very confident huddle. One of the players, Jason Baxter, the junior, says, give me the ball. If they foul me, I won't miss. I guarantee you guys I'll deliver this championship. Well, he's 6 of 6. He's been true to his word so far this afternoon. Richie Pepperman has it. 35 seconds remaining in the game. There's your foul. It will not be on Baxter. It will be called, and Richie Pepperman will go to the line. Ronnie Olson picks up his third personal foul. The line to the left is Richie Pepperman. A six-foot senior. He has 12 points in the game. Stands in on one plus the bonus. Right-hander, good. The old adage is defense wins championships. Free throws will take you a long way, too, Jeff Jenkins. And they've had both Magnolia in this tournament. This time, the free throw is off the mark, but the lead is four with 30 seconds. Here comes Josh Allen and the boys from Cole City looking for their first-ever state championship. Right side pass, over to takes the shot. Good. 49-47. Overgene going to the line. Can the sophomore deliver? Great body control, Fred. He knew he was going to get contact, and he held the ball back, received the contact, was able to push it up, and it rolled around the rim and crawled in for him. Eric Burke picks up his fourth personal. All right, if he makes it, this would bring his Patriots back to within one. He's two of two from the line. The sophomore, couple of dribbles, couple more. Reaches with the right hand. 49-48, Chad Perkins yells for a full timeout immediately. And that's why OBG's foul shot was so big to get it down to the one-point deficit. Now, you still have, it's still a possession game. You can get the ball back even if you foul Magnolia makes them. All right, here we go with 24.6 seconds remaining in the contest. David Tolman takes the ball from the official, and the official really didn't give him a good pass. And rightfully so, the official said, hey, wait a minute, let's do it again. Tolman looks, runs the baseline, can't get it in, calls the timeout. And you know, every coach now has told his kids, in a situation like that, you can't get it in. If you're in your mind, you're at three, you better call the timeout. 49-48, 24.6 seconds remaining in the game. Magnolia Blue Eagles, again, at the end of the regular season, they were 10 and 11. Not many folks gave them the thought that they would be here playing for a double-A no state one. championship. No one. <laughs> they were ranked number 71 in the Metro News Power Index overall because of that 10 and 11 record. Let's say something about the index while we have an opportunity. Chad Perkins was saying when we talked with him, he said, you know, I'm thrilled to death to be here. All the popularity polls had me at number 10 just one time. And we mentioned the power index, and he said, well, yeah, the power index, though, they use numbers, they use a formula, they know what it's about. I don't like the popularity polls. And I thought that was a, a good way to say how important these polls are to these coaches. All right, we're ready to go. Boy. 24.6 seconds. Magnolia looks to bring it in bounds. David Tallman, the coach's son, looks to bring it in. Hickory pass. He gets it in, and we're going to have a whistle and a foul immediately. And this is going to send Jason Baxter to the free throw line. All right, in that huddle time before last, he said, hey, let me get fouled. I'll deliver the championship. Well, he's got an opportunity right now to deliver two key free throws. At the line to the left. So far this afternoon, he has 18 points. Six of six from the charity strike. Two shots coming on the double bonus. 
Jason Baxter, 6'3", junior, spins the basketball, reaches for the first, good. And dependence here, regardless of what happens, Fred's gonna have plenty of time to get a good playoff, 23 seconds. 50 to 48, the lead is two. Baxter wants to make it three. Same routine at the free throw line. There's the spin. The right hand to it again. Eight of eight from the free throw line. 51-48, the lead is three. Here come the Patriots. 20 seconds left in the ball game. Josh Allen looks at his coach. He said, let's go. They get it to Ronnie Olsen. 14 seconds, top of the circle. Olsen in trouble, trapped, gives it up to McCool. 10 seconds and counting. Eight seconds, McCool crossover. We got a timeout whistle for by Chad Perkins with 6.7 seconds left in the game. And we'll check with Kyle in just a moment. He's behind the Independence bench, but I'll tell you, Fred, good job by Chad Perkins. He didn't like what he saw. He had no flow offensively. He knew he wasn't going to get off a good shot, and that was great. He had the official's ear, and he called a timeout so he can set up something. Now they've got still plenty of time, almost 7 seconds, 6.7 seconds to go here as he gets a 20-second timeout. And he's giving, he's setting up a play. Well, no doubt about it, he was going to let him go if he'd got the good look, but he didn't get the good look. And Kyle Wiggs has the story on the bench behind Independence. Josh Allen's going to be the guy. They're going to send Ronnie Olsen up high to try and set a pick for him right off the screen. They want Josh Allen to get the ball and shoot the three. Only 6.7 seconds to go. We're ready to go. Brad Williams will be the inbounder. Looks, brings it into Josh Allen. Across the timeline. Five seconds. Four. Allen lets it fly. Good if it goes. No. This is off the rim. Rebound. Magnolia with point seven seconds remaining. Well, I think he got a good look. Outside the arc on the right wing. He squared up. Took the jumper. And it just came off the rim. Point seven seconds left. At the free throw line will be Steve Hines. Hines has not scored in the ball game, but right now he could salt it away. He could secure it right here. First one's up. Good. There's the game. Steve Hines makes it a four-point ball game. And I promise you, there's not going to be a blue eagle around that basketball at all. Rims in and out, no good. Josh Allen pulls it down, throws it to the to the floor. With class AA state champions from Wexel County, New Martinsville, West Virginia, the Blue Eagles of Magnolia. They defeat the Independence High School Patriots, 52 to 48. Someone came out of the shoe. That's a fan. That's excitement. This team, no way. 10 and 11 at the end of the regular season. No way would anyone have given them any thought at all at being here this afternoon. And for Dave Tomlin, Fred, he won it as a player in 1973 with Payton City. And now as a coach, he coaches Magnolia High School to the state title in Class AA. A four-point victory that was hard fought, no question about it. They knew without question this Independence Ball Club would be ready to play. And Independence was scoring the first ten points of the game. But Magnolia hung tough and in that final quarter outscored them 18 to 14 to win it by four. Magnolia picks up their second state championship. Their last was won in 1961. We want each of the participating teams to know that it deserves the respect and admiration of everyone throughout the state of West Virginia. Athletics is an integral part of education and helps provide the discipline, integrity, and courage necessary to cope with the problems of life. We would like to recognize Mr. Jimmy Wyatt, Tyler Consolidated High School, Mr. Roy McCase of Parkersburg South High School, representing the West Virginia Secondary School Activities Commission, and Mr. Jerry Trimbush of the West Virginia SSAC. The first award will be the School Sportsmanship Award, and the winner is Petersburg High School.
And Ryan Lambert got to our executive producer, Dale Miller, and Dale said, go back and get that one. I bet uh, he may have to stay again, Fred. Oh, I think he's all probably tournament. all tournament. I would think so. <laughs> now here's your all tournament team. From Magnolia High School, Jason Baxter. Jason Baxter. Ryan Lambert, there he goes again. He just uh, knee rolled behind us that time. Well deserved award for Ryan Lambert from Petersburg High. From oh, Magnolia High School, Eric Burke. Eric Burke. 16 in the quarters, 13 in the semis, had nine this afternoon. From the high school, Ronnie Olson. Ronnie Olson came on strong this afternoon with 19 points, average double figures throughout this state tournament. From Tuckabee High School, Greg Davis had 34 in the quarterfinal round win. Greg Davis, all stater guaranteed, makes this all tournament team. From Tug Valley High School, disappointed not being in this championship. From Independence High School, John McCool. Point guard, John McCool kept his cool throughout the tournament. Four fourth in the line this afternoon. And from Magnolia High, High School, Rishi Pepperman. Rishi Pepperman, senior point guard, scored 14 points this afternoon. And the double-A All-State team, I'd, I'd take a chance with that ball club, Jeff Jenkins. Yeah, and I'm glad Pepperman make it. He was on my selection list. I thought he played a key role for the Eagles. Well, he had 13 in the quarters, 14 in the semis, and he finished with 13 this afternoon. So a pretty good-looking all-tournament team in Class AA. Not too many happy faces for independence, but again, they, they should be thrilled to death with their performance. Ryan Lambert standing there getting tired, holding all the hardware. The Sportsmanship Award for his team, the Spirit Award for his team, and his all-tournament plaque as well. Well-deserved awards. Josh Allen, Ronnie Olson, and John McCool. You can tell the death and looks on their face, but that's to be expected. Both teams, I think, as equal as we have found in the state tournament and championship games after a long time. Yeah, we really enjoy uh, the business of Chad Perkins, uh, the independence coach, and there's somebody who really... Number 11, Ronnie Olson, the Number 20, Brian Cross. Number 22, Eddie Vault. Number 23, Mike Evans. Game in this tournament coming off the bench for Independence High. Number, Number 25, 25, Jeremy, Jeremy Turner. Turner. Jeremy Turner, young sophomore. Hopefully he can come Number 30, Chance Martin. Chance Martin, another sophomore, 6'3", for Chad Perkins ball club. Number, Number 32, Todd Shrewsbury. Todd Shrewsbury, another sophomore. Let's see extensive play. Number 33, Philip Martin. Number 32, Jeremy Turner, the senior. John Obergine, a sophomore that's a starter, had nine points today. Number 50, Josh, Josh Allen. Josh Allen, only four points today, but quite a leader for this ball. Number 55, Brad, Brad Williams. Williams. Brad Williams had 10 points and today. And the coach is also come forward to the receiving awards. Chad Perkins, assistant coach Scotty Cuthbert, Rico Cox, all coming out. When you look at some stats, as they take some pictures of the runner-up team. Shooting totals for the game, independent shot 40%. Magnolia, 36%. Rebounding, though, I thought a few this afternoon for Athens. Magnolia uh, rebounded independence 36 to 29. And then independence had 12 turnovers. And now we present the 2000 boys basketball runner-up trophy to Independence High School. Go back to the house to find behind 10 nothing. You know, it was 
Independence came out on fire. But no, you did not panic, and that's what we saw from the Blue Eagles throughout this tournament from the time the first ball went up on Wednesday morning to now. Stay runners up, the Independence High School Patriots, and again, taking the picture now when it's all the sad looks on their faces, but they're gonna, they're gonna think back in this state high school basketball tournament. They're gonna think back on the sectional championship and on the regional championship, and they're gonna think back on that big win last night over Tug Valley. All right, thank you very much, Fred. Coach, I know you're disappointed, but uh, this was a tremendous run. You poured out all of your emotions here on the floor. Yeah, we're going to be proud of this run. I'm really proud of our team. The coach and staff and everyone. We're really drained right now. I wish we could have won one more, but once we get back home, we've got to take everything home. I don't think we have anything to be ashamed of. Magnolia's a great team. Number five. You got to give them some credit. They just cannot beat us today. Your seniors have to get credit as well. What can you say Number about McCool, Olsen, Allen, and Williams? Those four guys led you all the way, almost all the way. Number yeah, I mean, we rely on them. Number 12, Greg Preston. Number 20, Aaron Long. Number 21, Brent Ripley. Number 22, Josh Miller. Number 23, David Coleman. Number 32, Justin Lowe. Number 33, Jeremy Morgan. And with the coach and support staff, please come forward to receive your award. 